Grounds for Sculpture actually grew out of something called the Johnson Atelier. We were founded by Seward Johnson, who's a Johnson & Johnson heir, philanthropist, and a sculptor. And he had founded the Johnson Atelier, which is a foundry and production facility and mm -hmm. school um, to teach the craft of, of casting and modeling, molding, patina. And so that base of sort of technical skill and ability, we really grow out of that. Um, the building that they had happened to be next to the former uh, vacant state fairgrounds. And as the school grew and more and more artists were coming in to have their work produced there, they needed a place to put them. And so when the work, when the land became available for sale, it was purchased and slowly but surely um, the works went from being just placed out there in storage to thinking, well, wouldn't this look better with? And being, so the presented, presen being presented instead of just stored. Exactly. And so I would say that the artists were very much involved from the very beginning in terms of what would be the most optimal way for their sculptures to be displayed outdoors.